How can you get people to buy your photos? I'm going to talk about consequences today. Have you ever heard of FOMO or fear of missing out? When you feel like that if you don't buy it right now you're going to miss out on it altogether. It's an emotional sales technique which works very effectively and everyone uses it. You should too. If there are consequences to not performing an action such as buying something, then that person will miss out on the additional benefit. The repercussions will be that they may pay a lower price, but they'll receive a lot less value. Let's have a look at how this works in the photography space. When I was trying to work out how to sell my photos, I did the same things as all the newbies do. I put them online so that the client would be able to choose. And let me tell you, that's something you should never do. The only way to successfully sell portrait photography is face to face. It took me ages to figure out that using consequences to sell you photos it's no different to, it all has to go by midnight tonight, or last days, or closing down sale, that every rug shop or used car dealer in the world uses. If you don't buy it by midnight tonight, you'll never be able to have it. That's the message, and everyone falls for it. I'm not saying people are stupid, but why would these companies still be in business if it didn't work? I know I fall for this strategy, and I also use it. I'm Mark Late, and I'm just like everyone else on the planet. I'm a sucker for a bargain, but I took a lesson from the rug sellers and worked out how I could use that technique to increase my profit. And if you want to learn more tips about how to increase yours, subscribe to my YouTube channel, ring the bell and give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. My new book is also available on the website and everything I've learned about creating a successful photography business is in there. So you're in the sales room. You've offered the client a box print set for, let's say, $3,500. And they've gone quiet because they're thinking, just like you and me, that's a lot of money. Do I really need all of them? Maybe I could go for the cheaper option. And here's something else. We don't have a cheaper option in our studio, but I'll tell you about that another time. So the husband is sitting there crying inside because his wife is expectantly waiting for him to produce the credit card so that you can have these beautiful photos. And then you drop the clincher. If you buy these photos today, I'll also include three extra mounted portraits, which we would normally sell for $750. Now you've got his attention. It's gone from, I'm going to have to spend all this money to, oh, I'm going to get something for free, am I? The wife's already picked the extra three photos, don't worry about that. And he's deducting the $750 from the $3,500. And his perception is really that he's only paying $2,750 for something worth much more. But he can only get this deal if he buys it today. While he's in the sales room, right now, you've created urgency and consequences. And if he doesn't buy today, the consequence is that he's going to miss out on $750 worth of products for free. He doesn't want to miss out and his wife is still glaring at him. Oh shit, he thinks, I have to. I have to buy them because I don't want to miss out. That $750 worth of extra value We'll have a cost of goods less than 20 bucks to produce. So you will end up with $3,480 for your print set. Compare this with discounting where there really isn't any consequences. If you offer the same amount of value as a discount, you'll get $2,750 for your product. And that's a difference of $730 in your bank. And even though we're all money driven, my experience has been that extra value is more appealing than a discount. Getting free stuff, it's a good thing. That's it for today, but next week I'm going to talk about how you can turn your doubters into raving brand advocates. So I'll see you then.